Thank you, Melissa. It's Faith Time, our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining me this morning is Pastor Cy Hunter with True Word Deliverance Ministry in Mobile. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, sir. Thank you very much, Chad. Glad to be here. Now, uh, we call this segment Faith Time, and that's really what we wanted to focus on this morning. How do you define faith? Faith, the Bible says faith is a substance thing, so far evidence of things that's not seen. But faith truly just simply trusting and believing God and His Word even though we don't have proof of it because God is God. And you talk about uh, the proof of it. What do you think is the hardest part about accepting faith? Well, we as a people are brought up to believe what we can see, trust, feel, and that's totally contrary to faith. So because of it, you know, a lot of times we have a problem humbling ourselves down and trusting, you know, somebody or something that, you know, we don't have, it, it takes us out of control of our own selves. Now, uh, different churches talk about grace through faith. How do you see faith? Well, that's pretty much scripturally based. The Bible says, you know, by grace are we saved through faith, and that not of ourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So I pretty much believe that right there and accept it, you know, as that, right, because it is God's Word. People talk about uh, their faith being a guiding light in times of trouble. People mm -hmm. turn to their faith in, in those times. How mm -hmm. would you say your faith helps you, Pastor? Well, it, it transformed my life to begin with. And with that transformation, I, it taught me to trust in Him, to look to Him in the midst of all the hardship. It gave me stability and the things I have to deal with in life. So, it, you know, I put my trust and faith and totally in God Himself. And so it's made a whole difference in my life. When we talk about that faith, sometimes it is a hard thing to hold on to. Sometimes people have crises of right. faith. Uh, what do you yeah. recommend when people have that doubt and that crisis? Well, I try to encourage them to pray and, uh, you know, look to God in how in the midst of it, you know, to put their, you know, confidence in Him, knowing this right here that God said that he would never leave us, neither would he forsake us. And to let them know that even in the midst of that right there, he sees exactly what it is that they are going through. Mm -hmm. What would you say are some of the, the hardest crises, crises of faith that people sometimes face? Well, you know, sometimes they might have problems with, you know, can't, uh, you know, sicknesses in their bodies, you know, and that right there in itself, you know, can cause them to, you know, lose their faith, you know, and feel somewhat discouraged in what they're having to deal with to deal with in life. One of the biggest questions that comes into Christianity sometimes is mm -hmm. the belief in a loving God, but yeah. also it sometimes feels like a contradiction for yes. believers that a loving God could also allow bad things to happen in the world. How, right. how does faith kind of resolve that complex? Well, as far as that is concerned, you know, the, the Bible says that, you know, God, God sees all things. The Bible's within them. We live, we move, we have our being. So in the midst of all that right there, God knows exactly what's going, going on in people lives. So, you know, he sees it. At the same time, just encourage them. Just still look to him in the midst of all of it. How do you encourage or how do you incorporate uh, the idea of faith into what you preach? Well, uh, I'll use old scriptural examples of people that have went through things as well as, you know, personal accounts today, you know, in my scriptures and use those to bring out those particular points. How in the midst of all that right there, God still moved, he brought them out and made them victorious in the end of it all. What is one thing that you can point to that, that re reassures your faith sometimes? That I, one thing that I can point to? Well, that re it's his word basically. And I've had instances of my own self in my life that things have happened and come up. And in the midst of all of them, I would look to him. And he's, you know, let me know time and time again and showed me, you know, that he's there. All right, Pastor Cy Hunter with True Word Deliverance Ministry in Mobile. Thank you so very much for joining us for this edition of Faith Time and News 5 this morning. We'll continue after the break.